All right, so next up, um, we are gonna have eye donuts, which I believe this is the second time that you've sent me something. So we're gonna get some piranha plant action here. So obviously my plant knowledge is not amazing. And unfortunately I didn't get to do too much research on him before this happened, but I did have the luxury of watching the entire tournament that Brood got second at. So there's like a lot of things that I am more aware that he can do, but obviously I know those buffs changed a couple of things and I know that you, out of anybody that I could talk to about plant, will know exactly what those buffs did, so we can figure it out from there. Um, donuts, as I've always mentioned in the past, really, really good advantage state. Uh, like, at least on Wi-Fi, like, you, you just, like, killed me instantly if I miss attack, so <laughs> I'm expecting to kind of see that happen this time around, too. It's just that you kind of got, like, pigeonholed a lot into doing very specific things, but if you landed those very specific things, you would just kill them. Um... I don't remember too much in terms of recovery, but I think I always played Doc against you. I think I did, I think I did some K roll as well. So, from what I remember, it wasn't it wasn't easy to edge guard you as well. But I obviously know Joker's gonna kind of change that up. So let's see what we got. Okay. So you obviously, you get your poison charged up. No reason not to. Actually, let me get let me get piranha plants thing out real quick. And Joker. Well, wow, Jab's only negative thirteen on shield. I feel like that's the safest jab in the game. That's crazy. Uh, no. So I saved your critique to for last because I knew you were in a tournament. So. Did you, did you win it? I hope you did. God, that's an insane jab. You know, I gotta imagine Poison Cloud is so good for dealing with our set. <laughs> like it just decides to just go into an area and lose it. I really like that option, actually. Like, you going for, like, uh... You doing the the Patui right there, like, knocks off so many options that Gun has there. And if he decides to, like, go in at all, you'd be able to hit with the Swallow hitbox. That was really smart. Yeah. No, he's not paying attention to that. Ooh, okay, no. So, um, okay. So just based off of that, I'm assuming... Have you looked at the Bible that is the lewd, the brood uh, red ledge trap for plant? Because like if you did, if you just followed like the Bible of what a brood ledge trap is, like you would have just taken a stock there. Bowser trap is negative. Oh, okay, so it's not it's not the holiest trap then. Oh, good stuff, good stuff, Sparky. Yeah, so, like, just remember that, like, your rinse and repeat stuff that you have as plant is going to eventually kill him. Um, so, like, this is kind of how... Yeah, dash attack... So, when you need to build up damage, just keep doing dash attack. Or if you aren't exactly confident in what they're going to do, dash attack was your absolute best friend to just basically cover every option besides roll. And, you know, even if you... Even if they roll, you should still be able to punish it. Um, but, yeah, you get Poison Cloud set up. You can do the Patui. So then that way, if he does normal get up or he does get up attack, Poison Cloud's already got him there. And then obviously from Poison Cloud, he's going to want to jump or something like that. Um, and then uh, what you do is when you get into a percent where he can die, like especially from up smash, you just wait for that roll to happen or you wait for him to jump and do that stuff and then you just kill him. Like you can very systematically like tear down your opponent as plant when you have them at the ledge. So Poison Cloud's the start. Then after that, you can choose to do the Patui there. And then, you know, your Patui should be able to catch jump, standard get up, and ledge hang. And then if he rolls, I think you should have enough time to get the up smash or just the grab. Um, or if not, you might even be able to do... Let me see. Well, actually, if you do Patui at the right part, you'd be able to jab him at worst case scenario. Should I see what are your other moves you got? Up tilt's actually not too bad because that's frame six. So if you're, if it's kind of ambiguous what side they'll end up on, you can do that as well. Up smash is frame twelve, yeah. So that'd be another bet. That'd be another good one. Your down smash is really fast too, but 
you know, that, that kind of defeats the entire purpose of the ledge guard there. So definitely, like, go back and watch that tournament from Brood and just, like, watch exactly how he does the ledge trap. Because, like, when you get that down, it's like, the second you get into ledge, he's dead. <laughs> well, that sucks. He can still counter that. So something to remember here is when you're grabbing ledge and Joker has to Arsene back, you can drop down, jump, and nair, and you should be able to catch that two frame every single time by just nairing in place there. So, you know, depending on how good he is, um, depending on how good he is at teching, like, that's going to be a hard thing to deal with. Now, so, th that's definitely a mistake. You go for the smash attack when you know you have the guaranteed punish. Um, so, like, for example, let's say you're here, you do Patui, you throw it, and then he rolls on, then that's the up smash. That's a guaranteed up smash. You do Poison Cloud, you run up, and then he rolls, then you run back and up smash. Like, you do the smash attack when you know it's going to kill him. Yeah, that, that, like, the angle that he gets off of, um, the Aga really sucks, because, like, I feel like it's perfect for just taking out Plant. But as long as you can, like, throw it out and get the trade, that wouldn't be too bad with the Batui, but... It does kind of suck. Like, you have to be, you have to be really careful how you're using it. So, like, okay, here. That was actually a good area you could have thrown it. Um, let's see, we're at 37. Let's see if we can get to... Okay, perfect. So, there. Okay. Crap, did I go forward? This is why I hate Twitch VODs. It's so, it's so hard to just, like, make them apart. So, yeah, did that. The good thing is, like, I know it wasn't too far after you took a stock. Oh, wait, we're actually pretty far away from that. Yeah, so th then again, like, right here. Yeah, you can, like, drop down, jump there, and then you'll be able to catch him. <laughs> I forget. Let me, let me check your up smash hitbox again. Let's see, so your intangibility is framed. Okay, so it's on the first attack. Yeah, remember if you see an opponent like just jumping on top of you, you can just throw off that up smash. Like you'll you'll be able to take out a lot of things. Can you do the fast fall footstool with Nair? Because if you can do that, then you can you can do super jank things with that. Or like Nair down, then like up BM again. Or if not, you can do the drop down dare typing when you just like go back and like you dare over the ledge, but you land on stage, so you're safe. Okay, yeah, so it was right around here. Okay. Yeah, so like whenever your opponent, like if you're underneath a platform and you see them just kind of like spamming around there, that's when you just like take a Patui and just throw it out instinctually. It's because like this is the arc that you're going to cover. You're going to just cover all of this. So they realistically aren't going to have a safe way to approach you unless like they full on just commit to just rushing you down at that very moment. Yeah, you can't you can't really do the run up grab with plant. <laughs> you gotta force them into shield somehow before you do that. Drop down. Actually, if you want to do something hilarious, how does drop down Patui work? Like, if you could Patui like right, if you could drop down Patui exactly where the ledge grab is. You might be able to do some real jank with that. 
<laughs> well, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure if you could realistically get that timing down. But if you can, that would be one of the most absolute hilarious things that you could do to just like annoy the hell out of your opponents. Worth experimenting around with. Actually, I, I kind of want to. I want to check that out for myself right now. Let's see. No, I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. Um, oh yeah, you could bounce it off the ledge too. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, let's go. Let's actually check out Battlefield. So that. We'll put Joker. Honestly, I should just put Pit on, because, like, the two framing between the two of them is kind of similar. Because, like, I was thinking more of, like, the sustained air. So. Yeah, like that. <laughs> let me see. Let me see, like, let me see how, how well you could just do it. So, ah, uh, but okay, so you have to be a little bit careful about, let me see. Hmm. Huh, okay. So let me just go a little bit further out. Yeah, so it's like that whole swallow thing. So you do have to like make sure you throw it at a certain point. No, if you have a stage with a wall, that'd be super, super obnoxious. Oh, wow, that's sick. Yeah. Like, if you could do that consistently against, like, any, like, fly recovery, like, um, pits up B, or, like, jokers up, up B, or even if you could do that against, like, teleport recoveries, that's gonna be super broken. <laughs> but, like, that's still with the caveat of, like, you have grab ledge after they have tried to edge guard you. So, like, think of that only in terms of as a reverse edge guard. You don't want to be using that as your consistent way to ledge trap. Um, just because, like, your regular ledge trapping game is just amazing by itself. So, you don't need to really put yourself in that risk. It's just, it'd be a hilarious way to reverse edge guard. I will say this, though. Like, if it's something like uh, Fox or Falco's, like, Firefox, that's, that's something you could time. So let's see. Let me see. What are your moves that are safe on shield? Um, okay, so you don't exactly have anything that's safe. Honestly, like, if you have an opponent shielding on you that long, um, you might want to work, like, more on your footsies and fundamental games there. Yeah. So, like, whenever you have your opponent shielding there and you're just, like, kind of crouching next to them. Um, actually, how does your down be? What's your shield advantage on that? Yeah, actually, you could probably just, like, if if you're crouching and you're next to them like that, you could probably start, like, charging your down B. So that way, like, they're going to be just, like, really, really scared to challenge you out of shield. And if, like, they decide to roll away, you should be able to catch them more spot dodge. Yeah, you don't do it to break shields. You just do it to pressure them while they're in shield. Like, just to make them scared to press a single button out of shield. 
Because, like, they could go for a shield grab, but, like, if they happen to not be in range or something like that, then they're eating a fat punish. Yeah, you gotta keep in mind, that's that's a super common joker setup. You do Aga, jump, cover with dash attack. Just just something to look out for. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> so like after I saw that Nair there, I thought you were gonna be ready to just like cover this. Cause you get truth be told, like you could have just, like, ran over and just done, like, any type of anti-air thing over there to just keep the juggle going. Or done, like, a back air, too. Yeah, like, that's not a bad option to go for right there. That was pretty good, too. Ah. Okay, you didn't die yet. Okay, so that's kind of important to know. So if he's not ready to punish your cross-ups, that means it's probably pretty safe to do. Ah, oh, okay. You actually had the right idea there. Ooh, I thought it looked like bad DI. See, now otherwise I think you would have lived that one. Um, but yeah, overall, like, you know, you got to remember at the end of the day, your problem, the problem with Plant is he doesn't really have any real options to approach. So you don't really want to put yourself into a situation where you are approaching. Like, you kind of want to stay within their burst range and you kind of want to do, like, more of your dashbacks. So then that way, if they come to you, you'll be able to, like, kind of box them out. It's like, I always felt like that's where Plant, like, really, really excels. It's just, like, setting up those uncomfortable situations. You really chase them down if you set up those tech scenarios. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I imagine being on Wi-Fi also really affects that as well. But, like, you at least, you had the right idea. Yeah. I need to, need to chill a little bit. Let's see, what stage do we go to? Stadium? Okay. Like, honestly, I would say probably for this matchup, it's probably a little bit better for you that you are, you're able to, like, have, like, so much more space to set up. The only issue that you'll have is if you need to chase down Joker, then that sucks. But more likely than not, if they're playing Joker, they probably don't have the patience to camp you out. I don't trust Joker players to have patience. <laughs> Unless it's MKLeo. MKLeo's like, the water's like, okay, yeah, he's, he's probably got you in the camping game. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you have to know your range on that. Ah. Yeah, so, like, after you do Patui on shield like that, um, because it's, like, Joker and he's got, like, Bear out of shield as an option, I would not, I would not approach him in the short hop range at all. Um, instead, you got, like, two options. Like, keep him in the grounded range and, like, do something like dash attack afterwards so he can catch his jump or something like that. Um, or just, like, dash away and then, like, start, like, getting, like, your poison cloud setups, like, started. So, you gotta be a little bit careful with that. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, there's one option I don't want to do against Joker. It's jump. <laughs> yeah. So this is the thing that I mean. Like, if you can just, like, keep, like, running away and just, like, kind of playing in that zone against Joker, I think you'll be able to catch him a lot more with, like, your options. Yeah. 
So this is the thing, like he he is spamming that back air like crazy over here. So what you can do is just like wait for him to do it and then throw out your dash attack to catch him. Don't try to meet him in the air. Yeah, that was really good. I was gonna say, please down smash. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect. You were stuck in hit stun all that. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, a little bit too early on that poison cloud. Yeah, so like when you whenever you see if you're below this platform and he's just doing guns, there, you're going to have two punish windows. If he lands on top of you, you can just like kind of up tilt that. So if you're too late, he's not punishing you. Um, and if you hit him with an up tilt, then I think you get a combo off of that, depending on the percentage. Um, oh, what's up, Junior? It's nice to see you here. So, um, uh, junior to... Uh, no, no. Uh, junior kara uh, Nihon Sundeimas. Sundeimas ka? Um, and then over here. So, okay. So, if he's throwing bullets on top of here, if he decides to go away, like if he's drifting away, that's a dash attack punish. If he lands on top, just up tilt. If nothing happens, whatever. Um, if you up tilt a shield, he's probably going to jump again and then go elsewhere. He's not going to drop down and try to punish you. Because, like, you know, challenging. Um, Plants anti airs? Not a good idea. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and if that Joker does do that, then that just okay, I can just up smash it. He'll probably die. Yeah, so like what he's doing to you here, you should be doing this against him, except like nine times more effective. That works. <laughs> also remember that taunt caught charge like caused you some like poison charge. Oh, he called you out. Remember, his R sends like nothing, so just wait. Yeah, like just just running up and going for that F smash is a little bit desperate. You can just like dash up, wait for his option, and then go for it. But like, just run up, up smash, F smash. I I've. I have not seen a single thing from him that would make that a good read. Like, you have to be really watching what your opponent likes to do whenever you're approaching. And so far, it's like he's always jumping. So you want to go for more, like, anti-air options in that case. Like, so I don't want to just, like, go back in the time in the timestamps because, like, this one's a little bit weird to check out. But this is what you, this is like the thing you should think about. If he's always running and then jumping, what you want to do is overshoot where you're normally going and then like do a jump up air or like jump forward air or like jump, jump away back air or something like that. Um, the other thing too is like you could just run under and then up smash. He's not really at death percent yet, so I don't really recommend that. Um, but total, it's probably better to get him off stage. So I'd say like call him out with like a forward air or a back air so you have that disjoint. Which I think in this case is like you'd really want that against Joker. And then from there you do your sequence after. Because I don't think, truth be told, I don't think you're exactly fast enough to get under him and like... Now oh, I'm meeting you. And yeah, there you go. I forgot, was this one? So that was O2. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's like... Well, the thing is this. The range doesn't matter as much as just having the disjoint. Because... Okay, so like, let's look at... Let's look at this forward air. And let's look at your hurt box. So you have this amount of disjoint right there. And this hitbox has to fight. If it loads. <laughs> that hitbox has to fight this. And if you look at this, uh, that that's going to win. No matter what you do, that's going to win. Or because like he can just as long as he's spacing for the dagger, like that's just going to flat out beat your move. So if we look at this. Her box shifts away, and that looks that that is in fact bigger than this. You should be able to clip his arm with back air, so then that way you're just going to be able to use that to just beat it out. So while technically yes, this may have less range than what your forward air does. Overall, this hip box is a lot bigger than your forward air, so you are going to be able to put this in a place where it is going to beat out what Joker can do to you, especially if Joker's running into you. So. So let's say you've turned around and Joker is about to run up and do his back air. Your hurt box is shifting backwards. So that and then it's coming out and doing this. So that way you kind of have like two things going in your favor in order to call them out. Think about it like this. You're not using back air to reaction punish. You're using Think about it like a timed option that you see like in a Mario Brothers game. So like, okay, like if you've if you've ever seen like Mario Brothers 1 where you have the fires coming from Bowser before you like reach him at the end. Think about this back air being one of those. It's just like, okay, I'm going to throw this back air out. And if he jumps there at the time I throw this out, then he will lose. That's the, that's the best way to treat back air in this situation. And if he's not there, that means he's not punishing you. Because, like, straight up, you're going to back air, and then you're going to fall to the ground. And if he does that, then that means he was waiting to dash attack you. And honestly, getting hit by Joker's dash attack is not really the end of the world. Especially if you are controlling center stage. It's just like, okay, neutral's reset. Who cares? So you just got to think about, like, your pros and cons of those situations. But yeah, definitely um, the boss mentality for that is probably the best way to go. Okay. So, yeah, so let me get to the next one, 33052. Oh, was I dumb enough that I did? Dang it, I have to open it up again. Okay. There we go. So, Junior, are you the K. Rool from Japan? I feel like that's who you are. So if not, it's all konbanwa. Okay, so yeah, I remember, I remember you Yuta saying that you were going to be fighting a snake, so I can definitely give my thoughts on this. I'm probably going to have to just do a lot of, I'm going to have to look at how these interactions work, because like your interactions with snake determine so much. <laughs> so we'll see. I will say this, if you play overly aggressive against Snake, yeah, that's going to eat you alive. Oh my god, I didn't even notice the C4 there. <laughs> okay, uh, one thing I can tell you immediately. If you're in the corner and Snake dash attacks, that is very, 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 very negative. Um this back over here 
Mm -mm. Snake. So when Snake decides to do a dash attack, that is a negative 26. You can drop shield and grab, and if you're scared, you can drop shield and then turn around jab. So always remember that when he is dash attacking you, and you know you can just get up and punish that. That's all. Uh, Genki desu. Uh, not a I never use my jab. Oh, frames. oh, God, yeah, jab's great. So, one thing I should tell you, um, MVD actually had a th um, posted something, like, there was, like, a Twitter trend going around about uh, what are things that people do not know about your character. Um, and he's saying if you can hit, like, Snake's shoulder and above, then it's not going to set off the grenades. So this means that if, like, Snake pulls out a grenade and you do, like, fair out of shield, it is not going to trigger the grenade. At least most likely it won't, because I don't think your hitbox is big enough, and I think it'll just... I think it'll just clip his shoulder. Let me... Let's double check that. Which, like, truth be told, I don't know how often that'll be coming up just because, like, snakes normally aren't really cooking that long, especially if you're that close to them. Uh, but, it, like, regardless, it's still good info to now. Where is... There we go. So... Okay, we are going to hold grenade with snake, and I am going to buffer jump forward air. Oh, that hit grenade. Oh, but it didn't set it off. What do you know? Hey, hey. <laughs> so, um. Actually, do you know what? I'm kind of curious about this. I wonder if your dash attack could actually get around this. Please don't hit the grenade. Don't hit the grenade. Yes! <laughs> your dash attack can go through grenades. Okay, let's let's try this real quick. Cause this so snakes will generally be like standing back rail backwards like this so i think this is going i think this is going to cause the grenade to blow up yeah so that causes it to blow up however if snake is facing this direction ah okay so if you want to make it so that dash attack does not blow up the grenade you have to do it with the the lighter hit because um, then that way when he's falling down, he doesn't have the attack. But if you do with the early hit, it looks like you probably are going to set it off with that. So, um, fair is going to be your guaranteed way to set it off. And you, you could obviously do back air as well. But yeah, good to know. I just realized I freeze framed from there. Okay, well, let's get back to it. Oh, that was a really good grenade catch with that. Also, what does your poison cloud do to the grenades? I haven't seen that yet. Also, if you do have access to talking to Brood, ask him about this matchup, because like I do think he's been able to play with like Shogun and Dio a decent amount. At least that, that'd be my guess. In particular, Shogun, because I think he's from Tokyo. 
Actually, Junior, I can ask. Hey, Junior, is uh, Shogun from Tokyo? Oh, that's so... Where is it? Uh, uh, Junior-san, it's uh, Shogun from uh, Tokyo... Uh, what is it? Tokyo... Uh, Tokyo Sundeimas. I mean, if you talked with him before in the ba in the past, then sure. I don't know. <laughs> or if not, like ask the Japanese Discord because I know you I know you've chat with them a couple of times. They even have like the whole page there. Yeah, for the oh, <laughs> sorry. That's all. Hold up a sec. Let me type it out in the chat. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't realize you could just armor the grenades, too. That was kind of cool. That was such a good recovery against that. Cause like I know the I know the the Nikita missile is like one of the things that really messes you up in this matchup. That's like the good thing is that you can actually challenge this high recovery with both Patui and um, your down B. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, just be re be ready to cover those high recoveries because it seems like he's doing that a lot against you. And so this is the thing to remember. So if he's planting a lot of grenades on the ground next to you, um, the grenades are only going to go off after a set period of time or if you hit them. So what you can do is like you can grab him and then throw him. Okay. Okay, I missed that. Yeah, this is he's. Yeah, actually, Diz would be a good player to talk to. There's a lot of snakes in our region. So definitely ask him. Um, I mean, pretty much just enter any Wi-Fi tournament. You're not going to find the highest skill range in the world. Yeah, no, against snake, abuse grabs. It's just, the one issue you have as plant is that you're just so slow. You're so unbelievably slow. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah, because like right now it looks like your biggest deal is dealing with grenades. So what how does poison cloud interact with the grenades? Poison cloud blows a grenade. Okay. So I just read that. Um So this is what you can actually do. Depending on how he's throwing his grenades, you could set up poison cloud and then use that as a way to prevent him from actually getting any meaningful position off his grenades. So that way Snake has to approach you. Cause like if you can set that up where you guys are even then that just makes life really hard for him. Uh, best way to find tournaments? Uh, definitely just look on Smash GG. You'll find a lot of like free tournaments there. And the other thing too is if you just if you browse Twitch, there's bound to be somebody doing an online tournament that you can sign up for at the moment. Also check with your local region too. Your region's probably doing some online tournaments. Oh, yeah. Always going to be watching the C4s. Yes, yeah, so that grenade's about to blow up. Yeah, remember if grenade hits your shield, you can just kind of...
dodge away. Just like back roll in that case. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. He had a grenade cooked up already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're able to set up a poison cloud and camp him out, I would definitely try to do that. Especially if we can deal with, like, oh, yeah, that was untackable. Um, especially if we can deal with grenades, because right now he's just overwhelming you with those like crazy. That's a good mix-up to do, actually. Like, if he wants to approach you, and then you can just downbeat him. If he, can get, if he can get a good read on his movement patterns, that's something that you could very easily use to just, like, take him out. And then, yeah, if you can hear Nikita, then just be aware of where he is on stage and then, um, like, above the stage. And then just think that, like, a couple of spaces in front of him is probably where it's going to drop. Yeah, don't drop against him if he's spamming up smash. <laughs> That's a roll. Or get up attack. You can get up attack that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I guess I'll ask junior son. Yeah, so Breed probably played with Shogun a lot then. <laughs> what did he just? What? <laughs> Wait, so 337. Uh. Go, go, gold. Thanks for the follow. Oh, he jumped forward. <laughs> that was like the absolute worst edge guard I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I don't care how much he beats you after that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fastfall Nair would have caught him there. Oh, boy. That was a scary jump. Yeah, like, if you see Nikita commit to going high there, you could just run under it. Unless, like, I think he had a grenade of running under, though. The other thing, too, is, like, you don't really need to risk yourself going off stage against Snake, because like, you can just, like, down B his, um, down B his up B trajectory. Like... Down B or just like jump throw Patui so then that way after he air dodges you can cover him after he does the air dodge and just punish him for it. Thanks, Gogo. -Go. Ah oh, man, if you're ready for the, the ricochet there, just jump Patui him. <laughs> I don't know. Truth be told, I don't know if uh, plant's fast enough for that. I think that grenade just barely saved him from a shield break. That was a really good use of down B. Thank God you were ready for that, because like that, that could have very easily just killed you. But yeah, once, once you get to that percentage, you just have to play the keep away game. Three or four, eight, what? That's insane. Yeah, so like certain characters, you need to go off stage to edge guard snake if he's recovering low, but if he's recovering high, there's no need to. As, as Piranha Plant, you have zero reason to do that. Like there's no reason for you to go off stage just because like you can cover everything from the stage itself. Um, the only time that you, I would say is probably worth it going as plant is if Snake is recovering low, because that's a pretty guaranteed punish from there. But if he's going high or if he's like just like horizontal, you, I wouldn't work. I wouldn't risk it. Also, shout out to the fourteen viewers here. Remember, guys, if you guys are just tuning in, if you do want to see my duck up matchup chart, we got ten subs. I'll do my stream for that, and it'll be a video as well. Mm-hmm. 
Um, so definitely, since you're not comfortable in this matchup yet, I would recommend like experimenting around more with different stages. Um, now that we have small battlefield in play, I would recommend checking that one out. Um, so it's like while the stage itself is like smaller, I think those platforms actually might really, really help you out in terms of just like coverage with everything. However, that does kind of give Snake a little bit more free reign to play with with C4, which is a bit scary. And also there's less room for you to run other grenades as well. But like if you can put like the poison cloud in a perfect area where it like covers both the platform and below it, then that would be a problem for him. Yeah, see, like, that's exactly what you want. You want Snake doing this. When he's doing this, you can punish that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, like, the second that he commits to a dash attack for you, pivot grab, throw him off, and then just, like, just torture him when he's trying to recover. That was a really good recovery right there. Be careful there. Yeah, like, so, that was really dumb. So after he did the double grenade there, if you grabbed him and you did a down throw, not only would you have armored both grenades, but he would have eaten up both grenades as extra damage as well. <laughs> so that would have worked out really well for you. Because um, I'm pretty sure you have a hitbox on that down throw. I'd be shocked if you didn't. Yeah, you do. There we go. That's all I need to see. Oof. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> He's got around it. Yeah, just, yeah, no, you can't. Whatever, okay, if you are shielding right below a C4, you gotta roll. You you can't run. If you run, you're dead. <laughs> Plant is not fast enough. I cannot low profile that. <laughs> okay. So this is something that you've done pretty consistently. Whenever he's charging in, you have been very easily been able to just jump and fade back and be in a really good position to just like drop down and tomahawk grab him, tomahawk jab him, or just anything you want, or even like jump and then just hit him on the ground with back air. Like you've been able to like very consistently space around it and get to a point where you punish him, but you're not doing that. You're always like focused on like doing down B or just like doing something else that's crazy. Yeah, like, really watch your opponent a little bit more than this. Oh, that was good timing by him. Fair. Oh, man. Oh, that's painful. You just hurt. You just took every explosion you possibly could. Okay, so now that like his shield is at this moment where you can just shield poke it, I would I would like not mind just like pressing that shield like a little bit more now, because there's not too much you can really do. Oof, that F tilt there. Yeah, definitely. Your right now your biggest issue is dealing with grenades, like um. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into the lab real quick after this after this game is done and I'm gonna see I, I need to check that poison cloud and see exactly how that works. See that was a pretty good setup right there. Um But you had to you had to do a way to just like armor through that back air. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, but then when you're right next to Snake, that's when the that's when the spot dodging is scary, because then he can just like do those punishes like that to you. Um, so the thing with Snake is like because he's going to be shielding so often and like taking a lot of attacks and taking his grenade attacks specifically, you can kind of use that to your advantage to get like shield breaks if you can set that up properly. And also he's going to have like his shield like lowered a lot. So if you know like ways to shield poke him, that's going to be good. Like you definitely have Patui is one way to do it. Um, but you also might be able to just kind of shield poke with him with bear if you get good enough with that as well. Rego to Junior san. So. How was it? Sayonara. <laughs> so, yeah, let me check to. Let me check this real quick. So 
And it moves forward too. I have to remember that. So. Let me see. So I have to do that. Okay. Yeah, that's literally a wall he just cannot get past. Okay. I want to do, like, uncharge now. Yeah, like, if you could, if you can, like, literally just keep spamming that and then, like, grab grenades and throw it back at him, he doesn't really have a way to force you to approach him. Next thing to side B. So that also messes with Nikita as well. So definitely try this out. So if you're able to, if you're able to, the, the stages I'd recommend. So try to get Battlefield, Small Battlefield. Um, Battlefield, Small Battlefield. Smashville, Lilat. I think those are your four stages that you want to play on. Just because, like, by having that out, you pretty much, if you're able to play underneath a platform and have Poison Cloud out, he realistically doesn't have a way to actually punish you. Because, like, if he throws a grenade up high, you can just jump, catch it, and throw it. Um, like, yeah, he can do that, but you can just crouch under. Um, let me see. Can you crouch under this? Let me do that. Yeah, okay, so that can still catch you. But you can just shield that as well. And it's not like C4, he's literally going to have to like go on top of you for that to work. Um, but... Yeah, if grenades can't hit you, then... Let me see. So, let me do... No, I was trying to... I was trying to shield, dang it. Oops, wait. Okay, so that still hits you. So that's that's like one thing you have to look out for. Um, but it probably if it's right around here, I think it's probably gonna miss. So how far away does grenade have to be? Try here. That's a little bit too close. Okay, yeah, so if that grenade is, like, in the middle, I don't think you'll, I think you realistically can't, my guess is you realistically can't get away from it. Okay, yeah, so if the grenade's in the middle, you pretty much have to be in the ends to avoid it by ducking, but, like, that's one thing that you can do. I mean, the dash attack's not a problem. If you have poison cloud out, you can shield. And if he's going to if he's going to dash attack through the poison cloud, he's probably going to do it early. Um, if he does it late while you're over here, then you know he's just going to be over there, and you can easily punish that with your own dash attack. So like dash attack through poison cloud is not really a good option for him. It's just that if he tries to stall you out with um, if he tries to stall you out with grenades, just do short hop poison cloud, and that's pretty much going to cover the entirety of his neutral right there. And then, like, he just has to come to you. So, like, by having that, you block Nikita's, you block grenades. 
So with those two things out of the way, realistically, um, C4 is not going to be too much of an issue unless you set it up like way beforehand. But like, you know, if C4 is there, you just roll and then you set up over here and then do that. And then rinse and repeat. You circle camp him. And then, you know, he's going to get annoyed because like, hey, my grenades aren't working. I have to rush you down. And then when Snake is rushing you down, that's when he's easy to beat. So you got your fair to deal with him. Back air, grab, pivot grab him, and then like get him off stage. Then when he's trying to recover, you do that. Catch him with the Patui. And then when he when he dodges the Patui, you can just like catch him with an air afterwards. Or he air dodges the Patui. Depending on where he is, you might be able to down air him as well. So realistically, if you have all that set up, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, when he's trying to recover with up B, you get Patui set up. So if he comes down with an aerial, Patui punishes him. If he air dodges away, then hopefully you can catch him. Then if not, then you just let it... You swallow it, and then you just um, set up your poison cloud again to just deal with grenades. And then you're good from there. So just having that poison cloud up is going to probably be your most important thing. You grab that one grenade, toss it out, grab poison cloud again, and then you just rinse and repeat. So it's like, if he has you in the corner and you do that, and like he's always dash attacking you, after you toss poison cloud out, just be ready to shield. And then once you shield his dash attack, you can punish that. Yeah. Just think about ways that you can force him to approach you, and if you can really instill that into him, then you should have a much easier time dealing with Snake. Because, like, right now, grenades are your bane, and Piranha Plant just can't approach. Like, it's, that's just not a, that's not realistically a good option he has to... Like, of course you're going to be forced to in certain situations, but if you have time, just camp him out and wait for him to come to you. Um, especially if you're playing against a Snake like that. That Snake does not have patience. He is pressing every single button he possibly can, and he, the only reason why he hasn't got into you is because he wants to do more explosions when he's next to you. That's that's the only reason why he, he might not approach you. But otherwise, he's approaching you quite a lot. All right, is there anything else that you wanted to ask? Any other previous questions? Because, yeah, the main issues, um, aggression was bad. Your ledge trapping's not great. Uh, like, just watch that Umaburo, that brood one, so you can just get, like, the master class on all things of ledge trapping. Because if you follow if you follow the Bruge ledge trap formula and like look specifically at what his flowchart is, then like you should never struggle again with Piranha Plant at ledge. And struggling at ledge with Piranha Plant is just kind of a weird sentence to say. <laughs> Realistically, it's like duck hunt. He, he shouldn't be getting he should be taking 80% or dying. Um Yeah, Edge Guardian needs work too. Uh, also just like your up close options aren't good too. That's those are things you just have to figure out. Okay, yeah, I, I can try to do that. I'll get back. I'll get back to you after either tomorrow or maybe after the stream is done. Okay, it's gonna end it there.